Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APK, so welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take over where we left off in the last tutorial. As you can recall, um, in the last tutorial we covered uh, running some uh, CUDA C uh, code on the um, uh, GPU. And in this tutorial what I want to do is uh, get into the OpenCV and how to run one of the examples that came with the OpenCV library. Just to give you a, a, an idea of what's going on. Uh, with the OpenCV and CUDA running on your GPU. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into that uh, OpenCV folder that we downloaded. Um, I don't know if you have been doing all of my tutorials, but we we downloaded the uh, OpenCV and built it, and we're going to go into that code now. And in my case, it's version 2.4.10. Uh, and we're going to go inside the samples folder and it's this one right here it's inside the uh, OpenCV 2.4.10 and the samples folder okay and as you can see there are two uh, directories here here this one is OpenCL this is another language just like CUDA uh, but it's more for um, it, it, it runs on all uh, GPUs or, or a lot of them, most of them. Uh, but we've been doing CUDA, so we're going to do the GPU. I will probably be doing some uh, tutorials on OpenCL. I really like OpenCL. I like PyOpenCL um, and and PyCUDA. But um, but in this one, we'll we'll cover this one. Okay, so let's go inside the CD GPU, and as you can see there are many samples we're going to be running this one right here is uh it's running the hog uh, algorithm for a line uh, lines detecting algorithm okay so let me show you what this code looks like uh, and as you can see here uh, the includes is very similar to other includes here and but it's including here all the the usual suspects from the OpenCV libraries, but the difference here is the the GPU here, um, uh, header files, um, and these two are the usual suspects, but it's using another also another namespace and it's the CV uh, GPU in order to use the the GPU functions from uh, provided by OpenCV in conjunction with CUDA. Okay, and here we're going to be working with this image right here, and it's reading it, converting it into a, a grayscale, and here it's just running uh, and, and checking. Uh, here it's creating a mask using the canny algorithm, edge detecting algorithm with these parameters on the mask. It's creating a destination uh, CPU uh, mat with using the CV mat uh, function and here is just converting into VGR OpenCV um, to color and here is cloning it in order for the GPU for a destination GPU uh, image to have the same one that you can see here okay so it's going from here and it's doing the mask and then it's cloning the result into this destination GPU okay here is the the vector lines as CPU is starting is doing this program it does some benchmarking so it here is starting the the counter in order to to start the clock to to tell you um how fast it's going what it's going to do is going to do this and it's also going to uh tell you how fast it did it it's going to it's multiplying times 1000 in order to get milliseconds and it's going to do it for the CPU and it's also going to do it for the GPU okay as we go down here this this right here is for the GPU as you can see, it's very similar to the ones for the CPU. It's almost the same, but it's using the CV uh, GPU namespace. Okay, 
and as, as you can see here it's also adding the D for device so all of these are running on the device and it's doing almost all the same thing and it's also it's giving you the detected lines from this running on the host on the CPU and uh, running on the device okay so now let's let's run it let's close this and and this is the image I just want to show you the image so you know what is what is we're working with this is the image okay it's a uh, it's an old flag, uh, the Union Jack, and the lines uh, from the American flag. Okay, and I just picked that image because of the lines. Uh, it has diagonal lines, straight lines, or you know, ver uh, horizontal lines, and vertical lines. So let's show you the what the CMake list file looks like. And we have to. This is just typical CMake list uh, text file that we've been using. You know, it's the template that I always use. Uh, I changed the one that, that came from uh, with OpenCV or may, from the last tutorial. Maybe you saw it. How we changed it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you need to look at uh, at my second tutorial on this uh, playlist. Okay, and here is using the GPU. I'm going to change it just so you more or less have a have an idea how to do it. So let's call it hog. And it's using the OpenCV require. Uh, let's call the executable hog also. It's using the source uh, file here and the linking we're going to link the hog with the OpenCV libraries okay and then let's close it save it and now let's run it we run it by using cmake dot for this directory it's configuring generate and now we run make to run the make file and it's running and let's run it actually let me show you so you see it that it was created is this one right here okay so to run it dot forward slash huh? and this is what it does as you can see it created the, the um, grayscale image from the original but as you can see this is the CPU so you can see it missed some lines it missed this vertical line right here it missed this horizontal line here this horizontal line here and uh, this vertical line it, it makes it missed some of them and the time was 33 uh, 33 um, where is it 45 milliseconds okay so you can see here 45 milliseconds okay and you found 33 lines so if we now run the if we look at the, at the GPU as you can see let me put here the other one so you can see it picked up some of the lines that that, that it was missed by the CPU and as you can see here it picked this one that it picked that one right here and it picked it picked these vertical lines right here that the CPU missed these two vertical lines and it also uh, it didn't pick uh, that horizontal line that the CPU did but uh, but it found 134 lines um, Let's compare and it, it did it in 2.9 milliseconds uh, compared to 45 milliseconds using the CPU so as you can see it's a lot faster and you don't I mean you cannot run everything on the GPU you can but um, you you have to uh, always keep the GPU busy so you you will run it 
when you're doing a lot of compute intensive applications so to make sure that it's always running busy in order to 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 make it efficient okay but i just wanted to to show you how to do it uh, using uh, OpenCV uh, sample. And in the next tutorial, we'll keep going over OpenCV code and running on, 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 the, on the GPU. Uh, this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.